so good morning to all so today we are going to study about digital property rights so the previous day we study two ethical issues uh, plagiarism and intellectual property right so today's topic is digital property right so in the previous class i already explained what you mean by a digital property so digital property means any information about you created by you and that exists in a digital form either online or in an offline of in any electronic storage format so any information about you that created by you that is called a uh, digital property that is in digital form so you can either it is in online present or offline like uh, pen drive or cd dvd in anywhere that is called a digital property so examples of digital properties are you know, like uh, your accounts email accounts social media accounts facebook account gmail account yahoo account whatsapp account instagram account uh, there are too many accounts then uh, if any software you develop and you uh, save it in digital form that is uh, that software code is also digital property then you are copyrighted materials then you are photos videos etc so everything is treated as a digital property so this is the uh, so first you understand the digital property concept then we can move to the threat to digital property what are the threats threats means uh, means uh, threats means nothing but uh, threat is a chance means uh, in that way there is some problems are occur that is called a threats so what are the different way your digital property is going to uh, take by any others that is called a threats so threat main two mainly threats are first one is called a digital software penetration tools second one stealing and plagiarizing code of your digital property so by using different types of tools uh, penetration tools uh, penetration tool is nothing but there are too many softwares are available in order to take your data so like hackers uh, use different types of software tools in order to uh, in order to penetrate on your account and take your personal data so better two examples of uh, that type of software tools are key generator and crackers so key generator is nothing but uh, for example if you want to install one software so there should be a key is there so for applying that key then only you can uh, install that software so after some month that key is expired so you need to buy that key online again so hackers how the hackers uh, do means using this type of key generated software they can develop the illegal key illegal key and they can use that software so this is also a threat to uh, our digital property so developing illegal key with the use of key generator software so second one is called crackers so cracking means nothing but editing the code of our software and make it that software free for example so nowadays everyone use that uh, pubg and other type of mobile games so here the crackers apply too many cracking software then we can make that a game uh, in more efficiently means uh, we can uh, de uh, unlock all that all the features of that particular game or a particular software without giving any money so that is called cracking so these are the two digital software penetration tools these are the threats to our digital property second one stealing and plagiarism code of your digital property so stealing and plagiarism we already study plagiarism is nothing but stealing your information and uh, without to give your any credit they can publish the data itself themselves so plagiarism is the important things so plagiarism means nothing but to take your code and modify and they another hackers or any third party can uh, display or they can uh, they can upload that particular code as their code without giving any credit that is a uh, plagiarism so plagiarism is one of the main uh, digital threats to digital property so these are the main uh, digi uh, threats to digital property first one uh, tools digital software tools and penetration tools key generator and characters second one stealing and plagiarism of code of your digital property better example plagiarism then we can study how to protect our uh, digital so digital uh, property how to protect so first one it, we can use anti tamper solutions so anti tamper solution means so you know, by using this anti tamper solution there are too many softwares are available for this anti tamper solution and anti tamper solution means uh, no one can change your data that is called a tamper proof tamper proof means it is permanent so no one can change your data so by using different types of softwares so this is the first solution anti tamper solution so to make your software as a tamper proof 
tamper proof definition means no one can change the data second one illegal clause uh, not legal legal clause legal clause means uh, you can add your your some legal clause while installing data you, while all the user read that legal clause if you are agree with that clause then only they can install the software so after successful installation if anyone violate that clause so if anybody want to uh, take anything from your software it leads to a crime so that is called a legal clause so by adding legal clause you can protect your digital property third one is called a limit the share of software code so by using drm drm means a digital rights management so digital right management is nothing but for example assume that there is a company there is uh, one two three four five persons are there working on a to develop a software so there should be a tl tl means team leader so the drm digital right management says that uh, don't share the code to all so that is what is called a limited share the software code so do not share the code to all only a particular means uh, only trusted persons only share your code that is called a digital right management so by uh, limiting the sharing of source code or so software code you can also protect your digital property so these are the three ways to protect your digital property anti tamper solutions make your uh, software as a tamper proof second one adding legal clause third one uh, by using uh, drm digital right management so this is only uh, digital property rights so today we study digital property right what are the threats to digital property right then how to overcome means how to protect our digital property rights